We got audio. Tango's in sight. We're back. Video. Hey, we're back. Um, hey, that was an awesome segment. It was amazing. That was awesome. These guys were like, really good. I, yeah, they're they're great, and I'm like super stoked about the music. Uh, also, we still got Dan and Gary hanging out over there. Hello. Hey, Dan. Hey. So, uh, how's it going? So you've been playing since the beginning. I've been playing for I'm 43 years in. Since the beginning. So I thought we would just like you know kind of talk about all these features that sure. have been jamming into the game lately. So first, like, we got our new map. So got this our new is map. Like, this, this is, is like map. our final-ish map. Like, we're the gonna, camera, you know. The camera's not quite right yet, though. Yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna fix the camera angle and we're gonna clean it up a little bit. We also have, um, so I think the diamonds are starting to make a little bit more sense. As you hover over each of the regions, we have this, like, cool outline thing. So that is not uh, final yet. <laughs> so the black area is actually gonna be alpha We're gonna try it where the, the black area is alpha and then the whole thing is like rendered over the top of it. And um, hopefully it makes sense. Uh, you can, uh, the other thing too that, uh, that hopefully is making more sense is that there are like 10 regions. There's five inner regions that are around the, um, the capital city. And then there are five outer regions that are kind of like, you know, I don't know, connected to each inner region. Um, and so uh, another thing we were really shooting for by redoing the map was making sure that the actual, uh, like the tile set made sense for each one. So you can see like the bottom region is the salt stacks region. It's like this, you know, white, it's very obvious. And the, the one on the right is like the mangrove region. Like we're just trying to make it like really, really obvious. Like mm -hmm. I'm a big fan <laughs> of like grabbing the, grabbing the tack hammer and just really hitting somebody in the face with it so that you know where you're going without having to read about it and stuff. It was a little too subtle with the old map, so now it's like we're just really punching you in the face with like exactly where you're gonna end up going. Um, uh, let's see, what else do we have going on? Uh, oh, the timeline. The timeline is another big feature that we we just started with this, so it's pretty early. Dan's working on this timeline, but in, so the, hey, the big, the big play button is gone. The big, the big, the big gross, green play button Come on. in the Bitter lower sweet. left. Bitter uh, sweet. Lickable. I remember you said that it was the lickable button. Was that going to be an Jobs Easter egg? Thing? That was a Steve Jobs thing, yeah. Yeah, you want your buttons to be lickable. That's really gross. Uh, so we've actually like replaced it now with like, like uh, you know, again, like we've been replacing all of the placeholder UI with it. And so the play button is now in the upper right and we have this timeline that goes along the top. And so every event that happens uh, will put a little icon on the event. And, and they're not going to be all the same icon. And they're not all going to be the same yeah. icon. And we're also like, we still haven't decided like what the scale is going to be. We're probably going to allow you to use the mouse wheel um, zoom, to sort of change the scale of the timeline. Yeah. And those um, those little icons will get either closer together or farther apart to so be able to see them, you know, whatever. And then when you hover over it, you'll get some more information. So like right, that one, like that is coming of age for Frida Stamos. And you're like, oh, that's cool. Frida. And you could click that. I don't know if you can do that now. Oh my God, you can do it now. What? Dan just got that in before this, amazing. So the idea there is that it's like, whatever, um, you know, whatever the event is, you can just click it and it'll take you, you know, if there is a logical place, um, even if this character has passed away because you're, you're like, you've scrolled very far yep. back on the timeline, you could click them and then they would be uh, deceased but you'd be able to see if they had any kids, you'd be able to see their parents, you'd be able to see their traits and how experienced, they, all that stuff. Like we'll sort of, we keep it, we keep it around um, so you can see that stuff and, and it's cool. Um, yeah, so and then when a baby is born, same thing, right? You can Let's click see. a baby I event. See. Is there a baby? There's a hero birth. Hero birth, yeah. You don't get, uh-oh. This is Pauline. Oh, there's so, a, uh, there's <laughs> so a we shouldn't render the baby Oh wait, as no, that's a actually giant right. Adult. Or was that correct? Click that's that one again. That's correct, because she's, she's she was born, a baby then. She was born in the year, year 20, In year 22, now it's but year it's year 43. 43 now. So she should be so you, 20, she's almost 21. Yeah, so you click her and there she is, she's 20. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. Cool, so um, so that's that's pretty rad. And then also, uh, all sorts of other events we put on there, right? Like uh, uh, yeah, research? Yeah, so we put, uh, there's Mary. a marriage event right there. Cool. Uh, I can click on that and, and I get to spouse. It would be cool to go to the keep during the keep, but right. we're still working on that. Uh, here's a combat event, so I won a, I won a combat. Yeah, check that stacks. out. Awesome. Um, Let's see. Random I mean, events are on there as well. Yeah, Research random completed. Event, random events aren't on there yet. I oh, they're not. The, okay. Oh, here's a promote a commander promotion. So oh, we yeah. haven't talked about. So I don't think we've talked about. We we've moved to this sort of like base building uh, kind of feel. So if you click on the sure. capital. So, um, uh, yeah. 
I'll do if that you click right. on the capital, so through the research, because we want everything to be sort of like um, localized in one place, we have like uh, the the keeps, which you can now choose to build. Um, rather than going in there, rather than like searching for them and then liberating them, we thought that didn't really make sense in terms of like, mm -hmm. it really feels like you should have the whole kingdom um, like available to under you, your control, uh, under your yeah. control at the beginning. And it's and the way that the cadence attacks, where it's like they only attack every few years, it doesn't really make any sense that you'd mm -hmm. like. You know, there, there's just not the, the world that we're building is one where there's not like an imminent threat out there all the time. It's like the threat is much more sort of passive and subdued and like long term. And then every you know every few years there's this spike where they like come in and attack, and yeah, it's yeah. like very a very dire sort of like gotta fight them right now. So it didn't make any sense. So we're going over to this more like base building thing where it takes several years to actually build one of these buildings, mm -hmm. and you get to build one building per region. And we have keeps, which you know we've talked a lot about. And uh, we took the Scholars Guild, and we were like, oh, what if that was a building that you were placing <laughs> on the map? Um, seems awesome. So you you now rather than being the capital city, you place it in a region, um, and then you visit it just like you visit your keeps, and then that's where you retire heroes in, into it. It makes a lot of sense. I have one I and, can show you actually. Oh, you do. Awesome. Right here, here's a scholar's guild, and it looks <laughs> a lot like the keep, but so it does right. And and so our our long term plan is to actually like replace the the inside of that with like I mean the ideal version is that you would actually see them working, is that, and we don't have a, a model for the scholar outfit, but essentially if we just did a male and female uh, scholar right. kind of like uh, model, we, we'd be able to actually like kind of see your scholars like all hanging out, either working or just sort of like, you know, lined up for you, be like, oh, cool, like these are like the, you know, four or five scholars I have retired into this one. Into this I'm actually going to retire a new scholar into this guild because she's atrophied from something that happened to her Eesh. early oh, sweet. in her life. So I don't want to use her in combat that anymore. She went to, us. she actually, this is this is a segue into something else we're doing, we can talk about later, but uh, she's atrophied because she spent 10 years in prison because she killed an old woman or something, so we're getting the random events going. Man, in, don't so. mess with Melissa that's, Lowe. Yeah, that's awesome, Melissa Lowe. She was 10 years in prison and she didn't she didn't hit the training yard, so we're yeah. gonna put her in and, a, and Brad, I mean, aren't you putting, when you can see your guys working uh, in the in the uh, Scholars Guild in air quotes, I mean, they're retired, they're, they're probably getting loaded. They're probably just they're getting like, blazed. Yeah, yeah exactly. It's, like, like, it's like you go in there, they're just doing bong rips and yeah. then they... <laughs> Brewing beer. <laughs> Melissa Lowe can hold a bong rip for 35 <laughs> seconds. What? Um, but anyway, so, then, so so building, yeah, so that takes up your research pipe, um, and you'll build a uh, building, and then you pick one of the 10 regions to actually build that building and put it in there. Well, uh, we added a third building. Uh, we call it the Academy right now, and we're probably going to change that name, but essentially this is uh, uh, one of the other things that, that was really coming about from extended playthroughs of the game was that... Uh, Hero XP is one of the most important aspects of the game. You want to make sure that you always have the highest level heroes possible whenever you go into battle. Um, and we're going to be making it more important by just having like each each time they level up, mm -hmm. it's um, it's just more and more important. It's more uh, more of a boost with each level that they right. get. Not only is it the skills, but also their like uh, their core uh, stats level up, you know, rank up and cool. So we want to make sure that that's like an important aspect of the game. And what we were finding is that it was very, very challenging to take higher level characters, retire them into a keep, and then uh, they train up the children that are in that keep. So we were like, okay, what if we had a building where you could take a high level character, put them in, uh, it's basically a keep where you retire a single person, mm -hmm. um, but that single person is then training, they're, they're kind of setting the curriculum, the war curriculum for like, all of the trainees across the entire nation. Yep. So this person right here, you got sweet. Greta Farrell, this level three alchemist, and so she is now training, and, and it's sort of weird that it's like they're in their own building, so we uh, we sort of have to set it up so that it feels more like, they're, yeah, they're like studying the curriculum, they're distributing their knowledge to all the other keeps. Um, Maybe they're running some sort of combat camp where you send your kids in the, the summertime. See, the, the problem with the with the whole, we don't, we don't want to set the fiction so that people are we feel like uh, the, the kids are like visiting or moving between the buildings. We want to really make sure that the kids are attached to the keep they were born right. in the whole time. Because when that keep gets attacked, it's really important that all the trainees are sort of like locked into that keep right, and they're sure. bound to that keep and stuff. So yeah, we, we don't want to... <laughs> sure. Yeah, we just want to make yeah, sure that like, that like it feels like, okay, this is sort of like the master 
educator kind sure. of vibe to it. I don't, I don't know. And this, this actually, this was kind of a, this solves a lot of problems uh, because there was very little reason to, if you had bad genetics before, when the only thing you could do was retire people to a keep, if you had like not optimal genetics or you were infertile, or right. you didn't have any relatives. Then you would just send them then, to the Scholars Guild, right? Yeah. It was like, that was sort of your dumping ground for but characters. But now, you, can, you, you also can send those people to the, the academy, but what's interesting about this is, the more experience they have, the more experience they'll pass on, so it's right. beneficial to actually use these people in combat. So you build these, so if there's an infertile dude who doesn't have any brothers or sisters, can't pass on any relics, can't have any kids, maybe he doesn't have the optimal genetics, you can still fight with him and it doesn't feel like a total waste or you don't feel like you just gotta shuttle him off the game. Yep. So yep. I think that's really cool. Smile says it's a lot like University of Phoenix, like distance education, <laughs> distance learning. <laughs> that's amazing, yeah. Yeah, you did maybe. the Palantir. Palantir, that's right. Oh, that's God. Right. <laughs> I love that word. Actually, Hilarious. somebody's going to come up and tell you how to actually pronounce it. That happened last time when you yeah. were using that word, and somebody actually... Oh, did we say it wrong? Yeah, Palantir. we're saying it wrong. Oh, yeah. man. Is Palantir the wrong way to say it? Somebody that's what they say in the just movie. watch the chat. Somebody right. the, other, uh, the other thing we want to do with this, too, so, so essentially the, the command, we're calling it a commander right now, which is not really the right word. Like, we really need a new word for this, but uh, your commander that you put into the academy uh, serves as, like, a third parent in terms of XP gain for all of the trainees across the entire thing. So And personality traits. Too. And personality traits. That's another great thing is that if you have bad um, uh, bad genetic traits but good um, personality, personality yeah. traits. So this character is a great example actually because you've got uh, optimistic. Artist. Well optimistic, optimistic is, is just kind of neutral. It's kind of neutral, yeah. But then the martial artist is a, uh, That's a, personality. Is a personality trait, right? Yeah. It's like <laughs> and that's great that that might get passed on to all the trainees that are um, that are in the whole nation, which is super cool. So like I I think this is gonna it, it seems to be working out really well mm -hmm. and helping the uh, just give you more decision points, both in terms of like where which buildings are you gonna build, where are you gonna build them, who are you gonna retire into the academy? Like these are just really important things that you're gonna have to be thinking about. On right. The, uh, as you can see here, I built them all in my inner regions that are not corrupted at all yet. Right. So if I ever want to expand more, then I got to start putting them in these outer regions, which actually will take the brunt of all the Cadence attacks early in the game until one of the regions falls. Right. Yep. And then the, the Cadence will start attacking the inner region. And, uh, and so that'll, you know, that's, if this is kind of playing it safe for right now. This is all the buildings I need for now because <clears throat> really if you build, if you expand too much too fast early in the game, you start running out of people, which is really bad for when you actually have to go fight. If you build three keeps right away in a scholar's guild and an academy and you staff them all up, that's 15 people. No, that's 12 people. So, yeah, and we only you know, start you with 15. 15. So yeah. we kind of, we're, that's another thing is that we don't really want the tech tree and these buildings to feel like a loaded gun that we're handing to the player. Like, yeah. so we're, we're still talking about like the best way to balance this stuff out where like we don't want you to totally shoot yourself in the foot just yeah. because it seems like these, you know, these, these buildings are so beneficial and you really need to build them and stuff. So, uh, yeah, it's like, how do we balance? And then, uh, but at the same time, it's really good that the tech tree is so open mm -hmm. that you, you know, do you want to use your time for building b these buildings, researching new tech, like all these things. Let's like see what else that just there. screams like a balancing, like iteration balancing pass near the, like when we're polishing this game, because like, yeah, I bet you, yeah. you can control all of that. If you make all these research points cost just enough knowing how, like, what, what your breeding program will be like, so you'll have enough people, and then now you can unlock the research. Like, it's gonna be that weird timing of, like, so you don't run low on people. a lot of tuning of knobs. Yep, A yep. lot of mixing of the, the game, yeah, for sure. Exactly. Um, but yeah, here's the, and, Ch and Brad hooked up a bunch of other tech for us. Uh, in yeah, the tech and you can see so. the, um, a lot of these sort of below. Down here? Um, yeah, yeah, actually, a, a lot of these that are down here, uh, are connected to getting a certain number of kills of a, a certain type of cadence enemy. Um, so you can see that like age and rage potion. I love that um, name. Can keep so that. yeah, I think we're totally gonna keep awesome. that. Um, so that's from killing the the decay melee enemies, which are wrinklers. We're, call, we're gonna call them yeah. wrinklers. I'd so kill nine of those dudes already. You kill enough. Yeah, that's that's awesome. That's and then, roll. So once you kill fifteen of those, that that research option will unlock, and you'll be able to to research that that piece of like cadence technology. And yeah, it's like, we're talking about randomizing the number of kills that you need for that, and I think that would be really, really cool. 
But um, what are you researching right now? The stealth I'm armor? researching the Hunter stealth armor. I'm very yeah. close to actually that's researching awesome. it, which is really cool. Okay, cool. Well, let's crank up the timeline and... Uh... I wish we could... Oh, uh... also, hey, here's our new chalice. Oh, oh yeah. It has not had material pass, so... Uh, and and this, the background... This background's got it. The background is absolutely going to be <laughs> altered because it's totally breaking the illusion. Yeah. But here's the... But here's you can the totally see the, uh, the female on the right. And then here's yeah. the old man hunter. And the, and the old man hunter on the left, yeah. I'm surprised Jeff isn't on the chat like, this is all placeholder. Yeah, it's all placeholder. <laughs> Don't look at this, everyone. Awesome. <laughs> okay, well, let's, well, let's fire it up. All right, sweet. Oh, and then as an aside, there's, there's, I've revamped the upcoming events as well, so you can kind of sweet. see So dope. there. So let's go. And I wish we could hear uh, Trifon and White's music here because... Oh, this is this is going to be interesting. So, uh, how do I describe? So one of the t one of the, the uh, tuning passes I made was uh, I I drastically narrowed the ages of the starting group that you start with because one of the problems we ran into is Brad uh, shortened the lifespan of a lot of our characters, and That's uh, so Brad, <laughs> <laughs> brilliant. Because uh, there was some people that were living to like a hundred and. Yeah, and some and people it, with longevity were living to like 143. And it really felt like you were not engaging with the, at least in, you know, a hundred year playthrough or whatever, like just sort of these, these like there was short a, to medium yeah. term things. You know, it's like you'd play the game for eight, ten hours and you would only have a couple people die out of combat. Yep. And yep. it just felt really weird that you weren't like engaging with that. So, but we, now... Now it's happening a lot. Well, the thing now, what I did is so what was happening is when the the age range was expanded, like was was broad in the beginning. Is what you'd get is you'd get a lot of starting dudes in their forties, and in the first, before you'd even fight your second or third battle, you'd have five or six of them dying of old age, which felt bad. Um, me, we, we we're still working, we're still iterating on it. But what I did was I narrowed all the starting ages to be I think between fifteen and twenty five. But what that means is, right about now, 44 years in, we're going to see it's a just, lot of them start dying. It's just so mass it's just going to be it sucks. A, it, within yeah. a 10 year range, we lose. So we're half we're our talking stuff. about combating that by by moving the spread back up a little bit, mm -hmm. so that the age spread is a little bit larger, um, but then giving you more guys. The only problem, like we start out with 15 right now. The only problem with that is that. Now, like a new player is presented with like this list of like twenty, 20 characters, yeah. and it's just like, oh, it's yeah. so overwhelming. So like, we're <laughs> still gonna we're still gonna work on this because it's you know we want them to all be interesting, like through the trait system and stuff. We want all the characters to like actually be like kind of interesting, right? And have their own sort of oh, cool. But the problem is when you like even now when there's fifteen of them, you get that first marriage decision, and you're just like totally overwhelmed by like fifteen characters. If we yeah, bam. We got suits of health, hunter stealth armor for days. <laughs> for days. You know, the one thing that uh, was funny that I started laughing during the the uh, the Trifon and White interview was your uh, your research, your uh, result for the relic and time research. Yeah, yeah. I yeah. sent so Brad wrote. I, I I kind of wish I had waited to get all these random events until we were watching, but um, one of the random events that Brad wrote is that uh, somebody kind of disappears into time to find kind of into the void to find a relic. And I got the uh, negative, uh, not the not the super negative uh, response, but the sort of negative response where the, the title of the title of the result is oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> and it said so and so has returned but he has seen some shit. <laughs> That's and he oh, gets that debuffed. is the he gets debuffed. Yeah, with, uh, I forget what it that is. That is the negative shell one. Shell shocked. Man. Yeah, that is the negative one. No, the negative one is you just never. Oh never right, left. yeah. Oh spoilers. Yeah, but that's oh, cool. Sorry, I should spoil. Hopefully, we see some of those uh, right, pop up. So, so we got the hunter stealth armor, which is great. Yeah, we talked uh, about getting a seen some shit trait. What should uh, what should my next leech stone? The leech stone. You yeah, have you, I haven't actually used it that much. Should I show them how to how these work? How I, how uh, I build it, or do we? No, that's yeah, fine. We care. Okay. <laughs> they can. Okay. Yeah. Leech stone. Our battle scholars. There's a. Oh man! Look at bug. that. There's a bug right there. Sweet. Work in progress, <laughs> sucker. <laughs> Deal. All right. All right. Somebody will catch that. Oh, see. Oh, oh yeah. Oh. So this is really. Oh, so here's. I gotta. I gotta. I gotta. Oh, and that's cool because the actual uh, that was the keep name, right? It said Regent of the Round. I what the hell? That's the, These the guys, this the guy's kids are super old. Quick, cocky, and he's active. Oh, brother! Yeah. Crazy hair. 
I'm gonna. I'm just gonna leave this empty for right now. I'm gonna. I think that we're gonna have a lot of people dying. Mm. <laughs> Sorry, dudes. Uh, this is. A, I'm passing on a relic. Yeah, Are look at this, there? Vesuvius. Yeah. Vesuvius. <laughs> So we, we're going to be putting on the forums just Definitely like... Definitely giving it to this dude. He's, he's already in the battle. A list of Here's all the, world. you know, just like like soliciting a bunch of names for relics. Yeah, that'll be fun too. We also, I don't think that we have um, weapon-specific names. Do we have that yet, uh, Dan? No, no. They're all just a big bucket. It's just a bucket, right. Because yeah. for sure, there it feels like there some names would be better for... Oh, so this is cool. So you're also into like triple attack. Triple. Uh, oh, dude, I'm yeah, I'm into it, man. So, uh, so, you, so you, all of these other uh, places are no longer selectable. You have to yeah, that seems select great. one of these guys. Um, and then this is also we talked about how the camera angle is like not correct. We want um, yeah, that's the yeah. We want to have more space on the top for the uh, the that attack thing. What is that thing? That's what do you the, call that? That's dialogue the, box. That's and then the, also the timeline. It's it's just a little cramped on the top of the screen. So yeah. we're gonna adjust the the camera angle to make sure there's like room yeah. for all that stuff. But yeah, so here I mean you're just really right, I'm either in the what is it, the highlands in the Yep. What is this? That's the dry sea. Yep. Which one do you wanna see? Dry sea. Alright, let's do it. <clears throat> Uh, oh, and you can also this see this guy. This guy got it. This guy got a uh, the new. Uh, oh, I thought he who got the uh, the sorry, new chalice. Uh, the new chalice is in, and yeah. you can see that we haven't adjusted the scene at all. Here are the Stevan <laughs> positions. Yeah. yeah, get Vesuvius in there. Nice. <laughs> and uh, I gotta appoint somebody. Let's see. I could use a another hunter or another caber jack. Um, got a lot of alchemists, man. Look at the Stamos clan. They're all slow. That's all I got. Is that all you have? What the hell? Oh, man. Really? Oh, my God. I just got a bunch of Stamoses. All right. This one's good. Um, and then get the stealth armor on your hunter. Oh, yeah, yeah. And then you didn't actually get the leech stone yet, did you? Nope. Great. Whoa. Yeah. What's he got on him? That's Man, that's a it's stealth like a cloak. It's like a predator ghillie suit. Okay, so we've got a new layout. Uh, oh my god. So this is another thing. Um, <laughs> we have, uh, we will totally bring Philip out for the next stream. Yeah, we should. Yeah. So uh, Philip Chung, we have, a, we have an intern that started a couple weeks ago. And uh, the first thing that we've tasked him with is making new layouts for all the maps. Um, so player start locations, enemy distribution, and then also um, like breaking up the paths with like like so this one like you can see that there's some of those um, exploding plants that almost like block off that section over there so uh, he's just like adding more blockers or taking them away like really trying to to make the maps feel as randomized as possible yep. with all this stuff and one of the things we're experimenting with the idea is that the chalice sort of teleports your squad like right into the shit it's like hot <laughs> dropping them like right into the thing um, and sometimes you, there'll just be like enemies like right around your characters and you just have to start fighting immediately from turn one. Yeah. We'll always give you initiative. You'll always be able to take the first yeah. turn. So hopefully that makes it okay. And like, let's see. No, it's super fun. Let's it's, see how Dan McGarry gets out of this yeah. one. It also Spawn removes, there, there still will be some of the like, you need to search for enemies and stuff like that. And the fog of war is important, but you know, uh, sometimes you'll just have to get it going. Yep. You know? You dropped into a hot right. zone. Yep. All right. So I'll. Uh... Why'd you? Oh, kill him. Nice. I'll. Uh... No, I don't want to move him. I'm gonna use. I'm gonna use. So here, let's describe. Oh some yeah, new, uh, yeah. Abilities. We have some <coughs> other. Um, so hit hit Z if you would, sir. Um, and so we've been working on the. Uh, did we talk about this last time? I can't even remember. I don't think so. But we've been we've been revamping the trees for um, for all the characters to have uh, for all the classes to make sure that they have things that feel more appropriate. We ripped out things that felt like they didn't really make as much sense. Uh, jiggled the handle on some of the you know rejiggered some of the trees and stuff. And so for the alchemists, like they had um, throwing items was their level two ability, and it felt. Um, it felt a little bit weird because you really hadn't unlocked many yeah, items, many items yeah. early in the game. So we moved that up to, that is uh, unlocked at level, level six. six. And we put that uh, across from um, 
the extra item slot. So you'd be able to choose from like, do you want to be able to chuck health potions and give them the AOE? And you can also chuck like age and rage potions mm -hmm. and a bunch of the other like things that we have. Or do you want to actually be able to carry like a health potion and uh, one of these other things like that leech stone or, or whatever? Um, and so, you, yeah, I, I think that's really cool that you have like the, um, the versatility on one item or the versatility of like carrying two items and like mm -hmm. you can only take one of them. I think that's cool. But we needed like a new level two ability. So we came up with this thing where um, throwing a flask, you could throw it and it wouldn't cost an action point. So you could throw two flasks in one turn. Um, or you can move, throw a flask, and then move again. Um, and it seems to be working out pretty well, it's right? It's awesome. It's uh, cool. And it has a couple turn cooldown. It does. Um, and, and one of the things was uh, prior to this, um, a lot of us you know, weren't ever really in danger of running out of grenades. Right. But now I often run out of grenades. So it's, it's, not like, it's not like all positive because you only have yeah. a finite number of grenades and, and you're using both of them here. And also at the same time, we, uh, I, I, I lowered the damage on grenades just a little bit and then gave it a damage spread. So it's not, it used to be a guaranteed five right, plus right. your wisdom yeah. and now it's like uh, three to five. I think it's three to five plus your wisdom. Mm -hmm. So we did, we did nerf them but this allows you to throw two at in one turn if you want to at like a really tough enemy, and then you just have to worry about your, you know, conserving your ammo a little bit more. Do you want to go through the other good. ones, or should I just um, go for it? No, no, no. I think it's, I think it's fine. All right. Well, I'm gonna use it. All right. Boom. So, uh, I'm gonna throw Three one guy. Two. Boom. And I'm gonna then I get another turn, so I'm gonna do it again. <laughs> he's got Zero. 14 hit points. Whoa. And now he's got eight, so he's a tank. Um, so what am I gonna do? I'm gonna do the same thing with this dude. Screw it. Just unload on this guy. All right. <coughs> so the stealth armor. You wanna describe? Yeah, yeah, what yeah. This does? So this comes from the the forget uh, the forget mages, and it just lets you stealth anywhere. <laughs> we removed the restriction of uh, having to stand next to like a medium or tall blocker in order to like enter enter stealth mode. And it just lets you like, it just gives you like crazy freedom of movement for moving your guys around. Um, you know what, uh oh. You know what I'm gonna do? Steady now. I'm gonna get rid of all these crazy barrels. Is that too close to that guy? No, no, no. I, uh, okay. That was another thing that I did. I nerfed the the explosion radius on those. It, it was really, those things really made huge. me super nervous. All right, I'm gonna come in here and oh god. Oh, oh and a glancing oh blow god. as well. God, I hate guys' blows. They like it's like the most. It's like it's, it just steals the wind right out of your sails every time it happens. You're like, oh no, because <laughs> now I'm screwed. But these dudes are. See, I'm almost out of grenades with these guys. Yeah, I'm yeah. Okay, so you got that one, but there's no way you can take out this other guy, is there? Uh, I think I can. Let's what see. is he at? Because that Cable Jack's oh, already no. moved. That's okay. That's eight. all right. You know what? Right. I'm fine with that. I'm going to actually send him to kind of scout around a little bit. I Didn't you? You already I used already him, I already used right? him. Yeah. Oh, right. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, man, he got a wrinkler up there. <laughs> Uh, and Philip's not messing around. Oh, another no. thing. Keep an eye on that wrinkler, because uh, I think that we just did an animation, oh. animation pass on that guy as well. I don't think it got in yet. Uh, I, I think it oh, he just, oh, he just healed himself. Here he comes. He's just going to... No, he's hiding. So that's what you get the stealth armor from, right? You get the stealth... No, you don't. You get it from the forget, you get it from uh, the forget guy. Yeah. Oh, Jesus. There's three of them up there. All right. 13. Oh. Oh. oh, see? Come on! It just, just hurts. It just hurts. And then these alchemists. You're going to be out of... Is this, a, is this a medium blocker? What do you think? Uh, I'm going to say it is. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. Where's that Where's that forget dude? Oh, man. Just brazenly throwing into the fog of war. I like it. <laughs> Maybe oh, I, I think that I did think I that him? something died because he leveled up. Oh, he did. <laughs> yeah, click on that guy. No, he didn't. No, he did not. Okay, maybe he just said his uh, his battle cry. I think he killed something though. Okay, so I'm gonna use this guy's follow up attack. So this is a uh, the hunter's initial level two 
Yeah, to get that, to get that double shots. shot. Oh! oh. <laughs> Awful not. Uh, oh man, this guy's only two potions. Yeah, I'm just gonna. Just oh, use don't them. miss. Okay. Oh, four. Oh my goodness. See, there you go. It's great. I'm just gonna keep using them. Whatever. He's gonna heal himself again. No. Nope. Oh. Oh That's man, right. look at that. That's awesome. Sparring right. little guy. This is. Oh, I didn't get him. Oh, and now I'm not stealth. Also, that uh, the materials on that um, that hunter stealth armor, yeah, <laughs> really bright, a little phosphorusy. Right. So this guy, oh, cool, gonna Tron vibe do it. This guy's gonna be a little okay. Does it matter? The splash damage is the same as the, the splash damage, damage is the same right now. Yeah. <clears throat> I'm not gonna bother attacking that dude. I'm gonna bring him up here. Uh, I'm gonna leave this guy for my caber jack because what? Oh, actually, he's he's popping little guys, right? Yep. Oh, oh man! Good gracious! What a heartbreaker! I'm gonna bring them over. Knock back! Um, knock back! Oh, you oh. jackass! Look at All you! Right. You should—you totally should have used the knockback. Now you oh, got I another should've. dude. It You're absolutely him. right. It would have not good that the was knockback. The, now you got another oh, man, and this no. guy's getting wrinkled. And he got oh, haircut! God. Oh, those, all the wrinkles. <laughs> oh no! Oh, <laughs> oh brutal! Oh, and that God damn it, Philip! Headbutted now. Oh. That's right. so great. That's okay. the new animation for the wrinkler, right? Yeah, that yeah. That looks really good. Oh, man. Oh, oh man. this is your last flask on this guy. It's okay. Okay, that's good. He got. He killed one of them. This guy's got to go. All right. Yeah, now then he, he, now oh, you hit was it, Did it have one HP, and yes. then he finally gets a yes. solid hit on it? What a jerk. Oh, that Nice. Right. That was good. Looking up. Oh, he can't move. I'm going to get away from the... There we go. Get away from the exploding plants. Oh, nice. It's always good when your alchemist can come through with a, with a solid melee yep, attack. Yeah, absolutely. I lo that's my, that is actually oh. the first guy I've lost in 40 some odd years. So. Oh, it's a dark man. day in the red. It's rough, yeah. All right. Can I get him from the here? Glowy McHunter. Boom, oh, from nice. a distance. Nice. Ooh, that was huge. Very nice. That was awesome. Okay, I think I'm just gonna chill out. This guy's out of grenades already. And this guy's only got one. This, I think this guy died having two. Oh man, it was the guy that had a... This guy that had more left. This guy was, he was my level one guy. He was my new, I think he was my oh, new recruit. Oh man, that's the worst. Yeah, all right, this guy's going back into stealth. Check it out. There's another wrinkler up there. Oh, excuse me. Uh, let's see. So I don't think that Wrinkler can see me. I don't know what his range is. He's not going to go after the... I think I'm okay going up here. These guys really freak me out because five years is quite a bit to age. We were talking about um, adjusting that somehow, right? Based on the amount of damage he's doing. Yeah, either the amount of damage... Oh, he's... Oh, I thought he was going to attack that tree. Oh, there's a weird, there's a weird hitch in that animation. Is there? Yeah. We'll have to, we'll have to yeah. check that out. All right. So That's fine. We'll get that. I think I'm just going to attack him. Because that here. is... Oh, and um, I'm just going to end my turn. Sorry, dude. Oh, oh he's right oh, away. Oh, man. Now I'm going to get him. All right. Let's... Is this ha Hunter armor is really nice. That's pretty sweet, right? It's really good. Uh, but there is a downside to it. Am I, am I correct? Is there, you said that it had some sort of effect on his evasion, or is that not it has, true? Uh, it has crappier armor, so you'll take more damage if so you that's, get hit. Uh, you, just, you just have to be more careful with it. That's the, uh, we wanted to do kind of a dile dilemma approach. Hey guys, uh, something that popped up in the chat, this, uh, uh, Okay. Leorian asks, uh, 
would it could it, could you pick stuff up like grenades from your fallen? I, we talked about this. Um, would that be oh. kind of a cool thing? Like guy dies or some some. You know what? I was going to actually just suggest that when that guy <laughs> went down. I think it's cool that they they take the they take the. They, that you're he not took al- his grenades with him. Yeah, actually. that you're not allowed to. Yeah. I mean, if we had more, if we had more ammo type things right. in the game, I think it would make a lot of sense. Um, but unfortunately, it's like that's the only mechanic that we have in the game that yeah. really like uses any kind of like limited ammo resource type thing. Agreed. So yeah. it seems like you know you think about like, like it is a cool idea for sure, and I think it would be sweet to um, be able to run over and pick it up. But you think about like how would it actually be implemented? And I think that you would, you know, it makes me think about like the XCOM paper doll and stuff. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, like do you need to have like some sort of like <sighs> way to access your inventory and pull up a thing and grab something yeah. off the ground? Or is it just like, Look at that know, dude hiding there. Oh, was he hiding there I the whole time? I didn't even see him there. Or was it Son just like, is it like just special case for grenades where you just have to like walk, you have to end your turn on there oh and then right. you just pick them up or like what, you know, it's like how do you message that kind of mechanic? I'm not really sure. Oh, oh look at that no! guy. <laughs> Did his just, hair just get? <laughs> he just turned bald. He just, he just bald at him, man. Oh. Wrinkled. Oh, oh God, God, damn. That's oh my God. God, it's the pressure of, it's the pressure <laughs> of playing on the screen. Oh, look oh, at this guy. was like, F it, I'm going out. Too. Oh, he just killed no. himself. He just Suicide killed himself. Oh, oh my god. I my lost god. two. This is honest to god. This is the first combat I've lost. Wow, this is a bad have, this no. is a bad scene. Is this even the last group of dudes? Nice. That's uh, probably not. I one of the things that uh, cracks me up about these layouts is I keep thinking that's it, and then it's just <laughs> not. And it's not. I just wasted my um, Double shot. Going yeah, back. Yeah, but that was like, how could you have known? I would have used that there as well. Yeah, just to be safe. Since you just got wrinkled. Dude, I got I got two alchemists with no grenades and a hunter. This could be You trouble. got you still got your uh, your health potions though, right? Oh I do. Yeah. I keep forgetting to use those. Yeah. Oh gracious. Going back to that, like, you know, and I hear you like not not looting your not looting corpses. Mm-hmm. So, all right, so, so I, I totally hear you. So therefore, what would be sweet is like if an, when an alchemist dies, the way he takes himself out or herself out every time, is just pulls all those grenades. Blows up. Just boom, 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 boom. <laughs> That'd be so great. Oh, man, that was the end, too. Wow. Oh, we've lost Patrick Cruz and Pauline Stamos. Hey, Brad, he here, maybe, maybe it's a good solution to your uh, potential overpopulation problem. It's like, yeah, just keep, this, <laughs> keep these keep maps the difficulty. up. This, <laughs> all right, here's a uh, alchemist. Oh, yeah, level so level two alchemist. We kept the increased accuracy, um, and then we paired it against the... Uh, the acidic solution. So this is this puts like a uh, dot on your melee attacks and your just like regular <laughs> regular flask attacks. And that's, you know, it's cool. This I is think good. good. I like this. And I'll just do one of each. How about that? Yeah. Wow, now I got to Okay, he has some uh Yeah, Patrick relics. Cruz. Patrick Cruz has some relics. Created a relic. It's a level oh, wait, 2 that was, caber. No, well that was Oh, that's he's got to pass it on. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that was the the one that just Happened, He's going right? to pass it on to his quick, puny, sickly nephew, niece, <laughs> niece, 13-year-old niece. I'm going to put her in, though. Yeah, I think you're going to have to. Yeah. She's wielding Vesuvius. It's Vesuvius. Go time. <laughs> it's a really good Brother. name for a caber, man. It is. It'll blow. <laughs> so here's some more deaths. Yeah, so this is kind of the stacked up natural deaths that you were talking about, yep. right? Around year 50, that's when it happens. Oh, and then that guy didn't leave any heirs, so he, we just lost. I don't. I think that I shouldn't tell. I think that's unfair to tell people that a dude died, and if he had survived, he would have created yeah, yeah. a relic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We talked about just like squelching that so that you that's you gross. wouldn't even know. Yeah, because that's just. Kinda, I think that's totally fine. That's just kind of being a little snarky. Nice. The leech stones are attuned. They reduce what? it. I think it's Chad wrote that. <laughs> when We've equipped. been doing that. You're confident that they will hear the heroes. So that's that's interesting. Yeah, I haven't messed around with it much, but I think it's cool. It's another one of our like early game items that you make out of like uh, the spores. And I think that we're gonna put that ability on the spores where they just heal themselves for an HP every time they hit you. Oh, and cool. that way they're just like they're pretty resilient, like. We gave them more evasion, so you do get more glancing blows. They are kind of against them. right now, you know what I mean? Like, so that, that'll help, I think. Yeah, that'll be sweet. 
That's All a good right. idea. Uh, and so, yeah, so you just, it lowers your max HP awesome. a little bit, but um, but it lets you heal on every attack. That's weird. You can see the, the lighting got all jacked in this scene somehow. Every time you switch a character, it's like something's going on there. I, yeah. I, we're talking Jeff. It's super weird. Yeah, we'll, yeah. we'll get it, though. Yeah. I don't know I why. This game. I was like, oh, far has come along. It still blows my mind. <laughs> Oh no! Did you wow. have somebody in prison? That's a bug. <laughs> she was. She was. Melissa was not in prison. Melissa has passed away in Who's prison. Who's this Melissa? Like, <laughs> wait, Melissa's probably one of your scholars, right? No, she. Uh, oh, yes. that's what it was. She so, was the one who so she, was in prison. She was in prison. She came out, and then she was atrophied. So you were like, you really need to just go to the scholars guild. And then she that's, died in the Scholars Guild. That's where we're going right now. Of natural causes, but... Oh, you still had her marked as prison But you still had her marked as oh, being, like, in prison. Okay. That's so right. funny. All right, screw the Scholars Guild. Oh, I, I think I might be in some trouble, you guys. Oh, oh okay. hey, here we go. <laughs> oh, man. Dan, would you... I'll read it for you. If yeah. You uh, ruler, the <laughs> citizens of the Alpine Highlands are overcome with despair and have begun rioting. Bertris... Bertris? Bertris, I... <laughs> that's gotta be someone's, like, grandma or something. Yeah, I think that's, like, somebody's... Yeah. Bertris Bert Stamos has offered to return to his home. That's a bug. And in an attempt to quell... I'm assuming Bertris is a I think, female name. Yeah, I think in it an is. attempt to quell the fear and rage. But the situation is quite dangerous. How will you respond? Allow Bertris Stamos to try and settle his or her homeland. The situation sounds risky. Ignore the riots. So, risky oh, and so this this actually ties into some of the fictional stuff. We're talking about having the the rate at which corruption uh, increases in a region will be sort of tied to the overall like morale in that region of the, of the populace. Mm -hmm. um, and so it's something we're we're messing around with in these random events and stuff. And it seems pretty cool. It has a, a feel of like the. Uh, the, oh god, if I say this, it's gonna stick forever. I'm gonna say it, whatever. Do it. Uh, Ghostbusters 2. You remember Ghostbusters 2? How, like, the ooze or whatever? I forget what it was. It wasn't ooze. Slime. Slime. It was that, that slime stuff, like, would react to. Get angry. The, the people, it was like, so if the people of New York were, like, angry, it would, like, get all ragey and stuff. And I, I, I like, always like that concept, even though, like, that movie is not as good as the first one. Nobody's gonna fight me on that one if I say that, right? Uh, definitely not. Uh, yeah, okay, great. Um, <laughs> But I always like that as a concept, even though the movie's like kind of cheesy. Like I think that's really cool, and I think that doing a, a similar thing where it's like the cadence has more of a hold and can and can corrupt a region faster if people are sort of like unsettled, right? And that that it just really like and and, and mainly it, the way that you're going to interact with that is like through the through the random events, right? And it gives us a kind of another element of of, of currency, you know, or yep. economy where you're managing your people's what I what. I've called despair. Did I spell that right? I think I did. Maybe I don't I did. think so. D E is it D E S? <laughs> yeah. is it D E S. You're you a reporter. You, you, you get a pass. You get a pass. This is why we hire writers. Uh, and oh, and also, yeah, for people on the stream, uh, for the viewers, like all these will be rewritten. Like, oh yeah, This yeah, is yeah. just all like placeholder. Yeah. Um, I think placeholder that, text. I think that this. I think that some sort of, you know, some sort of of element of this will be in the game. Uh, I think that the 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 event itself will stay. But the results might be tuned, uh, and the text will definitely be <laughs> written by. Oh, and another thing spell. that we talked about with this, you really want to be able to like see the hero that's involved, the hero or heroes that are yeah, involved. Yeah, yeah, in because way. like who knows if if Bertra Stamos is awesome. Right? Yeah, like you know? is has she been so part of need... your active party? Like, what level is she? Yeah. What are her traits? What are you know? It's like what you we really want to know is all a that. Link right there. Yep. Click on that, but we'll see how. Whoever name. Yeah, that out. would be awesome, wouldn't yep. it? So you can just click it, and it yeah. would go right to the the hero screen, and then you'd be able or to have come back her to information this. over here, or over yep. here, or something. Anyway, so for the sake, uh, I know, I know what the numbers are on this one, and uh, it's pretty grim. So, but I'm gonna send her anyway. Okay. So, so now she's over here. Um, that, oh wait, she's that right one here. there, yeah. She's right here. And again, like if we have different, we'll have different icons for those, and it should make sense. Yeah, but, um, yeah. So. Bertrand Stamos is traveling home to the Alpen Highlands to attempt to bring peace to the region. 91 days until that happens. So that's really fast in terms of game time. Uh, uh, Brad, really quick. Uh, yeah. Dia Ferger is on the uh, chat. And concerning your Ghostbusters 2, no one will argue with you. You're wrong, he says. Dancing toasters greater than everything else. Uh, or the Statue like, of Liberty looks, party at the looks, end? Or the Statue yeah, of Liberty party yeah. in New York? Uh, I'm just saying, you probably have a meeting ahead of you pretty soon <laughs> with Burger. 
Oh, man. Okay, I, so here's yeah. another good reason to have her information up. Should she be tough with them, or should she be uh, understanding with them? And it's based on her stats. It's based on her strength and wisdom stats. I have no idea what she's good at. So <laughs> what, do you, what do you guys think? I don't Maybe know. Twitch plays. I think Twitch plays. Uh, Twitch, 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 yeah, plays Twitch plays. What we do. <laughs> Twitch plays. Massive Chalice. Yeah. Like, what do, you, what do we think <laughs> on the chat? We'll let the delay go there for a little yeah. bit. But yeah, what do we do? Should we? Um, I'll say, guys. Should we? You okay. know, I'll read it out loud. Dear, or... dear ruler, Bertrand Stamos has returned to his childhood home of the Alpen Highlands and is deeply saddened to witness the destruction of his townspeople have caused. Your guidance is needed in how to quell the violence. Tough love. Bertrand Stamos should demonstrate great strength and power to overcome and punish the riot leaders. Quiet understanding. Bertrand Stamos should demonstrate concern and wisdom to try and soothe the populace. Uh, okay, there is a hands down unanimous vote for tough love. Tough for love. tough love, tough love, do okay. it. Smile says YOLO Disaster! Tough love. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Sir, the riders have retaliated against Bertrand Stamos' threats and have publicly executed. <laughs> Man, our hero. That's so brutal. So like, we're just. I. I mean, you know, we don't know like how how savage we can be with these with these random events. Like that we one. Can, we, we got pretty dark when we were first talking about what they could be. Remember, there's a lot of talk about childbirth and the complications <laughs> yeah, of childbirth man. back in back in the era of back uh, in the day melee and combat. human sacrifice and like all yeah. sorts of things. So you can get we're trying to steer away from some of that stuff, but. Uh, Man, so also, lost, so, so that lost, region... Let me see what Bertris... Yeah, that region, uh, corruption is up in that, re in that region as well. I want to see what Bertris was all about. So Bertris should be down here, because she was the... Nope, where is she? Uh-oh. Bertris oh, Cruz. Cruz or, oh, Bertris... Yeah, two Bertrises. Yeah, she wasn't... She was Died much, at 38. She was level one. She probably yeah. shouldn't have volunteered to go. She was... Yeah. So the greater her strength, and the, uh, the better that would have turned out, and the greater her wisdom, but she's pretty low on... Both. Low on, low but on. That, both. Those numbers definitely need to be. Changed. Yeah, we we definitely need to take a pass on just all of our stats and just kind of clean that up. I yeah. don't think it will take much time. Um, I've been noodling that one. Been noodling that one. I got some, got some grand designs for stats. Oh brother, man, it's, all a, right. it's a death fest. It is. Thinking about having intelligence, uh, intelligence, strength, and agility. You know, <laughs> yeah, just we'll just match take the it Dota, back to the roots. Match the Dota ones. Yeah, man. That's it. This is the only non-slow one. Oh, jeez. All my dudes are old? What happened? Oh, oh it's my god, look how, look how dope that old guy looks with the, uh, <laughs> with the forget armor on. I'm going to keep going, dude. Oh, so just no marriage that, there. Well, I don't have any... I don't know what's going on here. I don't have any uh, good dudes. I think that I got... Uh, let me see. Trainees, is there anybody coming? Oh, my god! What Bad. happened? I think I'm, I don't know. I, I think that I've just been kind of hustling through. What are wrong with these guys? Oh, so that's another thing. We've been tweaking the birth rates um, a These lot. guys should have kids. Yeah. Mm. Maybe they will. Yeah, we've been tweaking the birth rates a lot. Yeah, and it's, it's sort of hard to... Hero birth. See. Yeah. There's okay, one. there you go. Hero death. Oh, God. Going mangro mangrove it. This could be, I might, I might have to throw in a towel here, guys. <laughs> you, at least you can fill up the full roster here. Oh, he's got Vesuvius. Is that Betty with Vesuvius? That's Betty. That's my 12-year-old nice. who got Vesuvius. I'll give her Vesuvius. Hopefully, get the leech stone on, on that. Oh, her? Yeah. Oh, and she can level up, too. Okay, cool. You think I should put the leech stone on everybody? Uh, no. Slow, slow, slow. Okay, well, we're just <laughs> gonna have to be slow. Uh, he's fine. Dude, oh my goodness. Do you have any other uh, questions in the chat? Uh, Anything else? Can we get more info on what each core stat influences? Oh, that's a pretty good question. Sure. Yeah, right now. Um, oh, Jesus. Oh, look at this. You're just. And I'm going to spread out. Where are my other dudes? Oh, they're right over the there. Sauce. Okay. Oh, yeah. So this is another thing that, that we're messing around with. Philip loves those exploding guys. Loves them. Yeah, so the. Um, 
Why am I having such a hard time with this? When they're what? not in front of me, it's really hard. What, strength, wisdom? Yeah, strength is just adding right now to, um, I think it's just adding to your weapon damage only, like your overall damage. Um, wisdom is only the, um, only the alchemist Flasks. is using the, the wisdom right now in terms of like how much damage they do with their, with their grenades. Um, uh, we have a sight stat, which is just like how far you can see. Uh, the movement stat, like how many tiles you can move um, per action point. So that right now that's uh, four is is average. Um, what else do we have? Hit Z real quick, Dan. Yeah, accuracy, accuracy and evasion. Armor is just like a straight damage reduction. So if you have two armor and you get hit for five, you'll actually only take three damage. We're just trying to keep the numbers like very, uh, very small and manageable. Because we want it to be more about um, the actual traits than it is about the actual like you know individual random numbers that characters are getting for their uh, uh, for their stats. So so every hero will have the same like or every class will have the same stat growth per level, and that's sort of like a lot of modern RPGs are doing that as opposed to something like uh, old XCOM where all the characters have like totally randomized stats and then you have to do a lot of sorting and digging through them. Mm -hmm. uh, we wanted to avoid that, so like every level two alchemist will have like the same wisdom, say, but then one of them will be like brainy, and you'll see that just written out as a trait in plain English, and you'll just know that like, oh, okay, cool, like this guy's really smart. His, you know, he can mix better bombs, and you know, so his, his will hit better. So yeah, we're, we're trying to keep it as simple as possible. Um, but yeah, we have, we have talked about maybe introducing a couple more um, just to make the traits more interesting. Because right now, strength uh, is just used for everybody, and it feels a little bit weird that, uh, yeah, it feels a little bit weird that strength will actually make your, um, uh, make your hunter hit harder with his bow. That feels very odd. Yeah. And, um, yeah, so, you know, we, we talked about introducing something like uh, agility that would be, like, hunter-specific and, like, intelligence that would be, um, alchemist specific. I think it would make a little bit more sense. Um, holy crap. Christ, he's gonna die too. Oh no! Okay, you're okay. Oh my god, dude. Oh. Did I give him the leech stone? <gasps> I sure did. Uh oh. Oh! <laughs> dude, those spring taxis. <laughs> oh man. So, so that's another thing is that after year 40, we haven't crafted the difficulty curve at all. <laughs> so we just throw every single enemy type at you. Um, and the game becomes like really, really punishing. And these, um, new, they, these new layouts are significantly, I mean, they're fun, but they're challenging. Yeah, we've taken the enemies and put them uh, a little bit closer together. Yeah, and it really does, oh man. I think this guy's in trouble too. He'll totally live though, right? He'll That's live. That's fine. He, he's got the health potion at least. Uh, Dan, does that mean that Vesuvius does not have... Uh, Vesuvius is... Vesuvius is done. I don't know. That's a great question. I don't know. And... Oh! Tell Chad about that one. Did you see that? Did you just not I get just a follow-up? No. Yeah, the follow-up didn't... The follow-up just didn't, yeah, didn't that's, do it. Yeah, that's been a bug for a while. That one. That one's gonna... Oh, Chad's killing me. I know. That I blame one's... my defeat on the programmers. <laughs> Oh man, no heal there. Oh yeah, you're right. Interesting. You know, he's gonna spawn one of those dudes. Okay, okay. All right, All right now I'll heal. I'll run back here and heal. All right, I like it. <laughs> and, oh, I used it. Oh, that's the worst. I'm gonna send him over. A little melee. Nice. What do I do? I think I gotta I think use think you gotta grenade. use a bomb. Yeah. yeah. Can't believe I lost that caber jack. I think that was my only caber jack. All right. Okay, more explody guys. I should really get to know the formal names of all these enemies so I can. <laughs> we don't have formal names for a lot of them yet. Oh, they don't see me. Oh, oh this guy does. That guy does. Uh -oh. That's fine, though. You can take this guy out, right? I'm going to 
try. You think I can get to him with my? Ooh, you're right on the edge. No, I'm good. All right. What should I do? 62%. Whoa. Nice. Oh, nice one. You're going to blow That's up, double, too. man. Boom. Look at that. Oh, that was, did you see that eagle eye? That was, it. was that the eagle eye? That was the eagle eye, yeah. Man, that is a good, so the eagle eye stat is not a sexy stat. Or it's not a <laughs> sexy trait. It's not a sexy trait, but man, it could come in handy. Oh, what did I just do that for? That was a mistake. Um, yeah, that was one of the discussions during that meeting that we had regarding the alchemist's abilities. It's just like, well, how do we, how do we communicate the fact that it actually just benefited you? Because increased accuracy can almost seem like no trade at all. But uh, it comes in handy. I, I pick it a lot. Okay. So that's a lot of dudes. It's a lot of hit points up there. Yeah, can, is this... I, I don't know if I want to... I think I want to cut the stream off, Dan. I don't know if I want to show... Me die. What's about to happen, yeah. Ah, uh, okay. It's up to you, man. <laughs> He's going to spawn some friends. I think these guys are kind of dumb. They group together a lot. Oh, jeez. Um, this, yeah, this seems real bad. You think you can get out of this? This is the, this is the end, though, right? Uh, I think I that these I are... I don't know if it's the end. Uh, it keeps tricking me. Uh, sometimes I think it's the end, and then it isn't. Okay. I can get that guy, right? All right, yeah, you're close. We'll let you finish it out. Okay. Oh, I, I think it's going to go very poorly, though. What? He just. Oh, and look at this. Oh, oh okay. this could oh, be that's bad. Good, though. That's all right. Oh, I don't know if that's good. Because they're going to attack. They can form. Oh, oh no. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, God, <laughs> no. <damn> it. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> oh, my God. All that right. is great. Oh, man. That's, that's your okay. ass. Uh, oh, and glancing blow because he's in the grass. Oh, is that right? Yeah, oh, yeah. Is that, uh, is that grass just automatically glancing blows? Uh, no, no, but it, it increases their evasion a lot. Oh, man, we might have to nerf these guys a little bit. Although, again, I don't know if you should be really fighting these guys at this point <laughs> in, in, the, in the timeline. Yeah. Hit them hard. Nice! Oh, look at this. Wait, you might get out of this. We'll see. Although this guy's gonna, this guy's gonna send another dude oh, in. Ba -boom. Oh, boom! Oh, seven. seven. Who balanced this oh, game? Oh shit! Oh, he just missed. Oh, wow. He missed. Okay. Glancing blows. All Are you rounds. almost out of grenades though? Almost out of flasks? No, this guy's got gonna one. Be, oh, so all right. I, I, sh I should probably send him over to actually do some work over here. He's not gonna reach him though. Is he slow? He slow. is slow. God. Slow. Well, you're gonna take this guy out then. Oh, I think oh no! Oh. I just blew myself up! I'm not thinking <laughs> at, at all! At least you didn't kill yourself. Oh my god, what is wrong with me? Okay, that was the last one, right? For that I think guy? So. Whoops, nope, don't want to do that. Oh, shoot. Eagle eye. Nice. Um, that hunter has a, has a talent point to spend. Level six. Oh, yeah. Well, neither one really helps me. The, uh, actually the, you the know, flaro? The, the flaro, yeah. Yeah, it decreases their accuracy a lot. It might be good uh, to advance on this group of dudes. Yeah. Yeah, you can oh, hit all of them with range. it. That's a big range. Yeah, yeah. He's on fire. Oh, well. They don't need accuracy. <laughs> no, those guys don't need accuracy. <laughs> oh, no. Is it like stuck? Whoa, oh. he just spawned a dude right on your dude. He just healed. Oh, shit. Oh, man. That's OK. I like, your, I like your confidence. I like your confidence. He's got nothing else he can do. I hope this works. You know what we're going to do? We're going to go over here. 
Should I kill this guy? I should probably kill that guy. He's only got three hit points left. Also, did that did that flare stick Actually, on that guy? That's really weird. I'm gonna. That was really cool. Bad. All right. Oh Christ. Uh, you know what? He's got a. How much hit? Okay, I'm gonna just. He's gonna take some acid damage. Gotta go for it. Oh no! <laughs> and here's this slow guy who can do pro. nothing. He's no. got three bombs left, though. I might as well take this little guy out. Oh, oh Jiminy man. Christmas. I've... That's what, okay. Okay, that's okay. He's gone. He's not going to, oh. Oh, boy. A lot of healing, oh, man. He's making right. another dude. That's okay. This is I'm insult fine. to injury, man. I'm yeah. fine. Oh, goodness Six. me. All right. Okay, glancing blow on that guy. He'll take one acid. Oh my god. You have to heal yourself. What is that guy at? He's coming around. I is think he, he can kill two? him. Yeah. God, oh, no. why did I heal myself? Worst. Come on, slow guy. <laughs> I'm going to have you disappear because you're almost dead. And you... Oh, oh so nice close. one. What's he at? Oh, Jesus. And nothing doing. You know, oh, and you know what I should have done is I should have killed you this guy. You should have killed that my, guy, Oh, yeah. my God. Whatever. This is going to end ugly. Oh, he's gone. Oh, no. That's okay. You're always just, oh. oh, my They're God. They're okay, though. Okay, so now... So this guy's got to make his way over. <laughs> oh, he's out! Oh, no, I, went, I, made, I moved him too far. And you moved him onto the acid, yeah. Okay. <laughs> I moved him onto the acid. Brad, this is professional I know. It's showing your, right now. It's because you've got, you've got the... Uh, this is, you're basically... It's twitch pressure. Yeah, this is what it feels like. Play. Oh, no! <laughs> <laughs> Another one bites the dust. <laughs> and I got two alchemists with zero grenades to fight... This guy. You got this. Yes, all right. And you're obscured, that helps. Is he obscured? He's not obscured anymore. I thought he was. Don't I do it, don't do it. Oh. oh. brutal. What do you, how many heals do you have left? Any? Zero. Oh, God. Oh, no. This is, is going to be the first televised wipe. <laughs> 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 okay, what, uh, this is, it's possible if it misses, but you're so close. There's no way. Oh, it's going it's to double. Oh! <laughs> Oh, man. That, that was, was not very well played. That was oh. literally the last enemy, though. That was literally the last enemy. That oh, one, my. Wow, Kelly Stamos with eight kills. All right, we're going we're gonna to wrap it up. We're going to wrap it up on that, that one. On that note, in shame, Dan yeah, and Gary, we must oh, wrap up this Dan. game. Dan, excellent job. Sorry, dude. No, that was terrible. Your entire squad. Squad. Really crucial Some mistakes there. Your entire squad murdered. It's nice to know that, like, you could have done things differently. Yeah. Um... Yeah, hopefully you'll learn from your mistakes. And on the uh, next team stream, we'll, uh, we'll show you. We got a lot of relics to get. Is, is the Mad Pirate says massive, massive crying. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, um, thanks for joining us. Uh, this has been Massive Chalice Team Stream 23. Yep, dark um, winter. Thanks for, bar thanks for barking. <laughs> thanks for barking. <laughs> Where, where my this has been at? a long one. Sorry about that. <laughs> um, but, yeah, thanks, thanks for backing again. Thanks for hanging out with us. And uh, we'll be back in a couple weeks uh, with more stuff to show. Yeah. I don't know if we have anything planned for the uh, next I think, one yet. Do I think we? we need to bring Philip in here to have him a little yeah, talk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. We've got to explain himself. We'll definitely have Philip on. Uh, we'll introduce him to you guys, and we'll talk, uh, talk to him about uh, what he's been working on and everything. And, uh, yeah, we'll talk about <laughs> we're, we're getting prepped for PAX. We're going to be showing the game at PAX yeah. Prime uh, at the end of August. So that should be really cool. It's going to be awesome. Uh, so, yeah, thanks for backing. We'll see you in a couple weeks. Thanks. That was hilarious, man. That was a good time. That was so close.